Hi everyone, in this video we will be talking about Digicam which is one of the best image organizer and uh, it lets you manage and organize tens and hundreds of thousands of images and videos and even if your data is scattered across the different uh, hard drives even then Digicam is uh, able to handle and manage all of them so it allows you to uh, tag the images and videos and lets them even assign different uh, kind of uh, um, identifiers so that you will be able to uh, locate whatsoever image and uh, video you are looking for so it is an open source uh, free software so that is one of the best things about uh, digicam so all you have to do is just search for digicam on google or directly go to digicam.org and once you are on the website you will see this kind of page and uh, you can go and read through them and you can also read the documentation and once you are satisfied with that you can just go to download section and uh, choose either of these options so this is for mac operating system so we are using one so we will be downloading this file meanwhile if you are using windows machine then you can click on this option and if you are using any variants of Linux then you will be clicking on this. So just choose uh, any of these and you will be presented with uh, these kinds of mirrors. So mirrors are basically download sources. So you can pick any of these uh, ideally which one is located uh, near to you so that it becomes uh, a little faster to download. So just choose any of these and uh, once you have downloaded the file you just have to install the installer like you usually do now open the digicam and uh, you will be presented with this kind of screen just read through it and then click on next and here you will have to enter the location where your images are located so in our case it is inside this samples folder and then click on next and here it will show you the details about data configuration so read through it and uh, where should your database be located so in our case it should be located in the digicam folder which we have created so you can create by yourself and ideally it should be in a ssd drive so that it becomes really fast uh, for digicam to uh, to process the database because it actively adds and uh, updates the database so it's very important that uh, you use a very fast drive but in case you are having the normal magnetic disk, uh, even that is fine. So once you're done with that, just click on next. And here, set here you, how you want to open the raw images. So this default option is okay for that. And click on next. And uh, here, set here if you want to store the information assigned to items in Digicam in the files metadata, which is very important. Uh, so do nothing is faster, but it won't store the data within the um, files or the metadata so like if you're adding a, any tag it should be saved in the file so whensoever you will move that file to any other application or any other computer those tags will be retained so your work will not get uh, repeated so recording information to the files metadata can slow down photo management operations which is interesting and totally valid because it takes a while to update the metadata of different files and then click on next and then set here how your images are displayed in preview mode and on the light table so load reduced version of image loading a reduced version of an image is faster but can differ from the original especially in with raw because there will be some variations or deviations from the original color so in this case uh, we can uh, choose this one because it is okay and it will definitely be faster so it is good and specify how images should be opened when left clicked in an icon we can just uh, choose the open a preview because that is much easier because we don't want to edit uh, the images on the go set here if you want to show contextual tool tips in the icon view and folder view we don't really want that but just in case you want it, you can have it as well. Congratulations, your minimum setup is done. So now we have the configurations all set up for Digicam. So you can just click on finish and then it will load for the first time. 
and here it is asking to download a few uh, files so let's download so these are basically libraries for face engine and uh, red eye removal tool so very important and uh, you can just download them now as the file have downloaded uh, we can just click on ok and uh, this is the software so this is the brand new version of DigiCam uh, the version is 7.3 and this is the latest at the moment now let's try to understand the user interface of DigiCam it's so like different parts of DigiCam so we have menus on the top while we have panels on the left and right so these have very important functions and we will explore each of them so to start with we have albums so albums is basically uh, the kind of folders uh, which are there on your disk and hard drives so all of them will be listed over here and all the images of different folders will be uh, shown in the uh, respective folders so all the names will be same as of the uh, folders so as you know that this particular folder has about five images in it and uh, we can just click on it and it will just show us the preview of the image likewise you can click any of the image and it will show the preview likewise you can and also double click on it to just go back or minimize or close the preview option and if you'll hover over each of these images you will be shown different file properties uh, and photo properties so just in case they are having XF data it will be shown over here there is another way to uh, see the XF data which is to go to the extreme right and you will see this panel and here uh, when you will click on properties you will see file properties and then when you will click on metadata you will see XF data over here and uh, other data over here so this file was downloaded from Paxos like I download uh, a lot of images from Paxels which is I an mean, amazing free website for downloading uh, images so so maybe that's why it doesn't have any active data but if you are having any image which has active data it will be shown over here in the metadata section over here XF. so now tags tags is the very important uh, feature of uh, digicam so it allows you to associate multiple tags with a single image because an image can fall into multiple categories and it really ha becomes hard to add them to multiple albums when you're talking about uh, any other pho photo editing softwares like photos everything just falls into albums and it at times an image can be relevant for five different albums so it becomes really hard to keep track of that and uh, for that purpose tags becomes very handy because you can add as many tags as you want to properly describe and categorize your images and videos so here uh, for example if uh, you consider this as a travel image and this as a room image so what you can do is you can just uh, click on the image and you can go to captions on the right and here so basically captions are tags so here you can just uh, uh, enter the tag names for example travel and it will just show you uh, create travel so just click on it and a tag with the name travel will be created and uh, you have added the tags of the image do you want to apply your changes so just click on check and then click on yes and the tag will be applied to this particular image now if you go to metadata here we can see the keywords travel is there and uh, and we will also check uh, in the finder app if uh, that uh, tag is added uh, to the XF data or the metadata of the image now this image is about a room so you can just go to captions and add room so you have to select the image and then you have to just type uh, the tags name and it will give you the option to create the tag and once you're done with that uh, 
uh, the tag will be created and the image will be associated with that particular tag name and here if you'll go to existing tags here you can see uh, travel has that image and uh, room has that particular rooms image and uh, likewise so these are no tags so your workflow can be um, such that all the images should be tagged so all the images which are not having any tag will be shown under this category no tags so it be, will become easy for you to identify okay these are the images which are left uh, for processing and uh, and you can just identify and then start tagging uh, as per your uh, schedule now this is about uh, water life so you can just go to captions and you can select water so since uh, water tag is not there uh, so you have to create the tag so just uh, type and select this and the new tag will be created with the name water life so we'll go there and you will see this particular image and uh, if you click on no tags then surely that image will be gone and another would would be miscellaneous if the image doesn't belong to any uh, particular category or tags then you can just uh, just uh, select uh, random images so a new tag will be created with the name random images and uh, we can see that okay these are the two images with that particular uh, tag and there are no images with uh, without the tag so you can select as many as images if they are related to one single um, tag or category you can then either deselect them or change the tag so like now those images are gone uh, from the random images to room now room will have all these three images likewise you can select all the images or a few of the images and you can change uh, their tags to another category or another tag and now those images will be shown over here and whensoever you are making the changes on the real time basis the tags are updated on the file as well which is very important now suppose you don't want to assign a tag but you want to assign something else so we have multiple options in dgcam so here we can see we have the option to assign if you will right click on particular image uh, or you can assign labels so we have three types of labels first is pick and there are four colors of pick so accepted pending rejected so kind of uh, agile way of doing things and then we have color so you can assign different colors to the image uh, for example green color like some task has been done so you can have a note okay that green will be assigned to a particular category um, likewise you can assign blue color, color as well and uh, so there are different things which you can do with images uh, in terms of assigning labels and then we have another type which is rating so like you can star 5 star 4 star 3 star the labels is over here as well so like if you want to filter uh, that okay how many images are there with four stars three stars two stars one star no star so like okay these are the four images which doesn't have any star at all while this one has one uh, five star so here in the pick we can see that okay no pick these images have no pick assigned um, accepted no 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 so none of these have any pick assigned but but we do remember that there are a few images which have blue color assigned likewise green is assigned no okay so green is not assigned so this is how you assign labels to the images and videos and uh, how to filter images so if you'll click on filter and you want to see all the videos and not the images you can just select video files so then all the video files will be listed over here and uh, since we don't have any videos over here we can just go to image to see all the images so you can also check for different file formats like png tiff pgf others like heif is for iphone uh, images um, so jpeg and uh, you can search for file name as well that this particular has uh, ryu tr ryu so it will just uh, search for the file name 
and you can see uh, that particular image which you were looking for now you can also look for images with coordinates without coordinates uh, with specific tags for example you want to filter images which have travel tag but we don't have any image with that so we will just click on random water life so these are the four images which have the uh, tag water life also face tags so you can check for face tags as well I haven't explored that feature so we are not including that in this video but uh, surely you can explore more and more this so software is amazing and you can also filter images by labels so let's say if you want to filter down the images by pick so uh, then we have filter okay this is the only one which has five stars likewise you can filter for green or blue so why it is not showing up because uh, there are multiple filters and it is uh, like all the conditions have to be met so just remove all the filters by clicking on this trash can and then apply the filter which is the green one no green one image was there so like the, these three images have blue label attached but if you will just uncheck that or if you will check for images which have no labels or no colors assigned so this is the image which has no colors assigned but if you want to filter only by label uh, stars so like five stars so this is the one over here so you can experiment and uh, get uh, uh, proficient in this this is very simple to use and it's very very powerful uh, you can also check for images with specific dates so this will just show you all the dates and uh, years and months so you can just find a particular image which was created uh, in particular day and we have timeline as well uh, like what kind of frequency was there of uh, image creation over the period of time you can also search by keywords or keyword or file name so like keyword was there and if you will just search for file name you can just search and you will find the image so there are different ways of doing things so i was just using the filter one and there is this search as well do whatever suits you best maybe this one is more handy the using the filter one but depends really on you you know how you want to uh, achieve a, a task similarity so this is about facial recognition so the fingerprint has to be generated um, this is a feature which is uh, again uh, i have to explore so we are skipping this in this video because this one it covers only the basics uh, but yes surely you can go ahead and try and explore this maps so it will just show you a uh, kind of map with the uh, different locations and images and videos associated with those particular locations so very interesting uh, uh, way to see things and then we have people so this is about the facial recognition so it will um, detect uh, the faces in the images uh, it is very powerful uh, because I've seen that uh, working very nicely uh, but yes in this video uh, we have used the first database because that is something we received as a feedback so we are not including uh, the real people's images but surely this works very well now here we have some tools uh, which you can explore like export to box dropbox flickr so there are different uh, features related to exporting uh, image editor batch queue so these are very advanced topics like text, ta tag manager is something which you can use so like all the tags will be listed here you can right click and uh, here we can edit the tag title you can change the names and uh, shortcuts uh, can be assigned to different tags uh, so very useful then we have maintenance so what does maintenance say so scan for new images so like work on all processor cores just to improve the performance of the software scan for new images perform 
database cleaning very important so read about all of these like no option only album collection are processed by this tool and then we have uh, if activated the core db is always cleaned you can select additional databases for cleaning if you select one of the options below the process may take much time and can freeze dizicam temporarily in order to make sure that no database corruption occurs always clean up the thumbnail database always clean up face database always um, also shrink all databases if possible so i think this is not something which we are going to choose um, but uh, rebuild uh, thumbnails just in case you want scan for changed or non cataloged items rebuild fingerprints so that is something you can do so that is i think that is for uh, the facial recognition uh, find duplicate items so this is something i haven't explored but surely this will be an interesting feature i use dupe guru for this and detect and recognize faces so just in case you want to enable that feature and uh, uh, clear and rebuild all training data and then we have image quality sorter so we can also enable that so enable only if your machine is of high configuration or you can uh, skip a few of these options and sync metadata and databases so this is very important i think uh, yeah so basically whenever you are adding a tag that should be updated in the file the original file so for that uh, we need uh, that kind of sync and for that we have this feature so just click on it and uh, now all the things uh, all the settings which you have made will be saved and uh, you can do advanced search advanced search is extremely powerful because it has a lot of options so you can choose to explore this in case you are having tens and hundreds of thousands of images then it will become very important for you to uh, find um, any particular image then you will have these many parameters to search for and scan for new items within that particular locations uh, which you have uh, mentioned in digicam so just in case you want to learn how to add more locations uh, what you can do is we can just go to digicam and here we have this preferences and here first of all we will see the database so the database location is there uh, is this and uh, you can also change and create another database if you like uh, or if you have copied database from some location and you want to use that one instead you can also do that by browsing to that particular location and changing the uh, changing the database so so like if there would have been another folder you could have chosen that one instead now there is this collections so like we have we had selected one folder now if you want to add more folders to digicam then just click on add collections so in case that is on a removable media just click on add collection and here you can go to that particular media or disk and then you can just uh, select that folder where the files are and then click on ok and uh, ok now the digicam will scan through that particular folder as well and also subfolders and it will update its database so if you go to albums you will see now two folders samples and secondary secondary is the latest one and you will see new images and if you go to tags all those new images will be untagged because uh, they are pretty new images with no metadata at all because they were also downloaded from pexels and uh, and yes you can start your work of assigning tags to different uh, images which are currently untagged so this can be your one of the workflows wherein you can have untagged images and then you can just start tagging them and then 
you can start uh, even uh, so let's say if the orientation is wrong of any particular image you can correct it by just clicking on the left right arrows so like this is the option of rotating by 90 degree towards left and this one is towards right so the image will be then changed or updated uh, in terms of orientation you can also have a kind of slideshow of the images like we have done right now so so there are different features which you can explore like slideshow full screen import just in case you want to import from different drive so these were some of the core features of DigiCam and uh, different settings which you should be setting up and uh, different aspects of DigiCam so just in case you're having any query about DigiCam how to use DigiCam uh, what to do if you are facing any issues then you can just drop a comment and we will try to uh, revert back and try to answer those queries uh, because it's been a while that we have been using uh, DigiCam although we have faced a few issues and we learned how to uh, tackle those so just in case you are facing any issue you can just let us know and we will try to help you out with that and uh, we wish you all the best for your journey um, to this amazing uh, DigiCam which is a great software and it's truly a lifesaver uh, for uh, for creative professionals like us thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled